Gucci, this is Deanna. Um, in this channel, you're gonna see a lot of plant-related stuff. And today, it's how to organize your plants and make them look pretty. Let's see what they have in Ikea, how Ikea can help us in our plant organization. And let's see if they have some fresh live plants too. Come with me. shelf and how, how pretty some basket people with some streaky plants. I'm so excited! Pretty basket. It's gray and $19.99. I'm loving this here. This vase here, it's glass and it's great for a monstera cutting. And look at that, $7.99. I don't think that's bad because if this gives you a good example of how beautiful that can look and clean. There's some plant stands here. This one says tray table, but you can use it for plants. $19.99, $49.99, Because it has glass on it and it's white, and I think you can easily move it anywhere you want to put it close to a window to get light to move your plants around. $29.99. I want to go back to that one. Here. These are $7.99 bamboo. Um, these smaller ones are $7.99. These are made out of like steel. Let's see if we find a price. $3.99. Yay! I'm gonna have to get some of these. I like the shape of these. Terracotta. Especially like this one here. This one's $99.99. It has this iron in the wood. And then this one's a little taller. So you can definitely put plants here on the top, middle, bottom. Love the look. Ooh, ooh, this, this one, this is cute too. Look, this is even a glass dome with a base. So $12.99. So you put your little plant there, you cover it. Perfect. Love it. Let's see if I can find a price. $4.99, and this is the big one. Look how pretty. It's, it's a hanging planter, $12.99, and it says here it's so you can put on, put in your herbs or whatever you like. Pretty interesting. What's interesting is how you can hook two together, or even more. That's pretty cool. Might look very cute. It's like a terrarium, and it's $19.99. So this again is something that would keep the humidity in here, and it will displays very beautifully to put your plants in here. Very nice. $12.99, I think it's pretty good. Ooh, you can pick it up. Put it back on. Okay, so this is one of the shelves that I came to get here. It's this one here, this is the name. And it's $79.99 and you can get it in white. I want to get it in white. And look how kind of beautiful it is, the glass. It's just going to help the light go through the shelf, to the shelf, to that shelf. So there's one, two, three, four, five different basically shelves where you can put your plants in. So I might pick up one or two. Okay, so this is one of the plant stands I was looking to buy. $29.99. And it's just very clean, uh, minimalistic look to it. So you can put three different plants. Okay. So this is another plant shelf that could be a great idea. It's $149. This one can have one, two, three, four, five, six different areas where you can uh, put your plants in. If you might. Mm -hmm. Some of the shelves that a lot of people are using from IKEA for the plants because you don't see the brackets. So here are the prices. They're $19.99 for one of this size. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. And this is how it kind of goes mounted. You can see the behind the scenes and how it works. There's black, there's white. There's little ones. You can create a cute effect with this. $7.99? Not a bad idea. Oh, and the longer ones are $29.99. That would hold a lot of plants. And then there's this one here. Shelf unit $119. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so well, I like this. This is $9.99. So you can have a plant stand. 
I think it comes together. I'm going to go check it out where you actually pick up the different items. But I think it does come together like that. Very nice. The shelf I think would be great for a propagation station. It's $4.99. Of course, I wouldn't use these. I would use some longer little vases. Maybe we can find some here. But for five bucks, great. We have a little on the wall propagation station so you don't take any shelf uh, space. This is uh, another area uh, idea how to hang your plants. This is $9.99. And then you buy these individually. And they are right here. And how much are they? $6.99. Right? That would be it. $6.99. And then they have another size, a bigger one here. Let's find that. That one, I think it's $16.99. This basket, $9.99. This is perfect for a fertile leaf tree. The size is correct. It's two ninety nine. Second, second. You said four ninety nine. You want a hairy one? Brown bulbous one. Four ninety nine. These are uh, this one thirty nine ninety nine. It's like a little stair. And then you buy these, I believe, on the side. I forgot how much they were. Two ninety nine. I like bamboo. Yeah. It's $4.99. It's so pretty looking. What? These are uh, $5.99. They're, I believe, four inches. And they are, I think, they are some kind of ceramic. But they don't have a drainage hole. Just like a cash hole. These, these are kind of plastic-ish. But they're cheap. They're like $1.99 and $2.99 according to the size. So they have this type of sansevieria. What is it called? Linear or columnar or something like that because it grows like in a column. And then they have the gold pots. These are $2.99. Let's see how it looks. Voila. Instant house decoration. <laughs> but they're little. Like I had seen them before and uh, somebody else's um, Ikea. Be, uh, chore, but I thought it was bigger. It's 30 ounces. See, it's small. But it's so pretty. So pretty. Love the colors. These are $2.99. And they are 4 inches. That's not a bad price. <clears throat> very, very good color. Easy to use. It's made like terracotta. That's good, but it is glazed. Keep that in mind. Okay, so there's this money tree and it's $24.99 it's pretty big and then some yucca cane right dracaena $24.99 are $5.99 I think they're kind of pricey they might be cheap <laughs> but they are darn cute aren't they Look at those, $7.99. I wanted one of those. Hanging planters, baskets. They're probably out of stock. People are devouring this section. Some more of these marginata and dracaena. $12.99. I have one of these. They're very easy to take care of. And what's nice is they tolerate low light. And it does add a boom splash decoration. They have more of these. Dracaenas, these are the Sinto, Shinto, something like that. $24.99. They're about two and a half inches. $39.99. But what's the tall they are? Decoration, right? I think it's a stunner because of this. And these are very easy to take care of. Now hey, back home, let me show you some of my finds from IKEA that I was able to incorporate in my plant room. This is something um, that I built before and um, you'll see how the Ikea shelves fit into the style of this bedroom very well so obviously this is a plant room <laughs> and there you go those are the Ikea shelves 
I ended up purchasing. Um, are, they're not the ones originally I went in for. I wanted the ones that had glass, but they were gone. But then really thinking about it and then seeing it all come together, I realized that the ones I ended up with fit the style because there's wood here with some of these um, brass hinges, not brass, I don't know. They're actually from parts that you use for something else. Um, but look at this, it matches because these have wood and then they have the metal and then they have the metal uh, shelf here. So I think it just goes so well with the whole look. So the bottom shelf needs a little bit more of lighting. So I plan to put some lights down here so I can use the space even more. But all the other shelves, since I have two windows, are getting very nice lighting. This window here gets morning sun. Um, so all these are by price little plants that I really want to take care of. And they're going to get the best sun possible. My little pancake plant needs a little more. Um, oomph, it was dropping leaves. That's the teardrop, teardrop peperomia that's doing so good. I have um, all kinds here. And uh, yeah, I think these metal shelves, I ended up buying two, obviously. There were 119, if I'm not mistaken, each one. But I think that they were so worth it. Yes, maybe we could have built our own, but it probably would have taken so much more stress to build it. So anyhow, that's what we ended up with and I'm so happy with them and I did get a lot of pots and here are some samples of the pots that I ended up buying some of the terracotta with this bottom little um, catcher thing and I love it love love them I was only able to get two all the pots were running out at Ikea because everybody is buying planty things so be aware of that Maybe the shelves that you're looking for might not be in stock. You can always check before you go to your Ikea. That's what I would recommend to anybody, especially if you're having to do a big drive. Go ahead and check before if they're in stock. Um, they have these gold ones that I showed you. I bought several of these. They had a lot of those. And um, those and the white ones. Um, there wasn't a lot of sizes to choose from, but this size here to me is one of the pots that I'm always looking for. I think this is like six inch entrance and it's straight. So a lot of my medium sized plants fit into that. And um, I also bought these shelves. I bought the shorter ones. You see how the back hinges? Bought four of these in white to place in different areas. Plans for this room is to add a propagation station right here but I think I'm gonna have to build that one separately. Um, and um, bought this basket, <laughs> of course. I don't have a plan for it yet, but I'm sure it will come. And I have a lot of other pots in here of the same style. So it was a fun, fun, fun day. And so happy to finally have taken the time to put them all together, have the humidifier going. So hopefully these little propagations will do good. I have some string of hearts propagating. I have my variegated string of hearts that I needed to grow, grow, grow. And yeah. Bye. Thank you for watching. I'm going to keep sharing a lot of planty things, shopping planty things, taking care of your plants, um, what I've learned, um, and how to decorate with plants. Also, I'm really working hard to make my house feel uh, like that boho plant style and uh, also keep them neat. I don't want them to look messy and I'm learning. I keep rearranging them. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. My name is Deanna. Keep on uh, watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. It really helps me out so you won't miss any other um, videos that I will be posting um, quickly. I've already recorded two more in two different nurseries that I went to on this day. So there'll be more to come thank you for watching and also follow me on my instagram i always post when i see some deals at uh, big box stores um so it's same plant heartbeats okay thank you so much for watching have a great day everybody bye